We're experiencing another COVID-19 surge, this time with the highly contagious Delta variant. Locally, we have seen significant increases in new daily cases, hospitalization rates, and percent test positivity. However, certain parts of the country are experiencing extensive community spread, and their healthcare systems have been pushed to the breaking point. In order for COVID-19 to spread in the community, two things must be present, susceptible people and a way to reach them. The best way to decrease the number of susceptible people is vaccination. We need to vaccinate as many community members as possible to halt local spread. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe and highly effective to reduce the risk of death and hospitalization if you do contract COVID-19. To further decrease the ability of the virus to reach susceptible people, mitigation efforts like masking and distancing more than six feet from others outside your immediate household are encouraged. It's important to follow the recommendations put forth by the CDC to utilize indoor masking regardless of vaccination status. We have seen record numbers of newly diagnosed children with COVID-19 during the surge, many of whom have required hospitalization. This likely reflects the opportunistic nature of this virus to infect susceptible people, and in this case, children who are not yet able to be vaccinated. To help protect our children, we strongly support mask wearing in indoor environments such as schools. Masks work best when everyone is masked and masked well. Together, we can stop the spread and keep our community and children safe. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Months and Minutes.